At 10, their story has reached thousands. Young football players from Richmond with the goal of playing in the national championship tournament. Uh, today, their goal became a reality as the team stepped on a football field in Florida. Their trip was funded in part by all of you, KTV viewers, and people across the country touched by the story of the Richmond Steelers. Our Amber Lee first told you of the story of these youngsters playing football and trying to survive gun violence. She followed the team to Florida, where it played its first game this afternoon. It's game day at Austin Tindall Park in Kesame, near Orlando. The opening of the 2014 American Youth Football National Championships. 150 teams from around the country. Game time for the Richmond Steelers. High noon, jersey, helmet, and cleats on. A show of support for each other. So people can know, like, we close. I think about, like, these could be my brothers. They like my brothers and sisters. On the hop, to the sideline, on the hop. Let's go, on the hop. Even on the road, rituals are as important as warm-ups. Let's take it to her. Let's do our thing. Amen. 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 Let's go. Kick our team. Go, Geeks up. A season of 11 wins and one loss earned them a spot here. But today's game against the Peppermill Pirates from Maryland was tough. The opponent got out ahead for an early lead and scored often. The Richmond Steelers are a long way from home. They're on a journey about football and more, what it means to win and lose on and off the field. It teaches them to want more, you know, to strive to be the best in everything, not just football, school. It was kind of good in the first half when we woke up on the second half. It was in the fourth quarter that the Richmond youngsters showed the indomitable spirit that has helped them survive the gun violence they've seen too often in their community. You just ran to one of their best players over. So what do you want to do, hit the hole? Hit it then, come on. You hear me? 11-year-old Elijah Cannon, number five, scored a touchdown, putting what would turn out to be the team's only points on the board. I just wanted to get the ball and run my fastest down the field. Still, Elijah says he misses two former players and a coach whose son plays for this team, all killed by gun violence. I just think about all the people that could have been here, but they not because they died and got killed. For many players, it was the first time out of Richmond or the Bay Area, the first plane ride, a new environment. I hope what they take out of it is that you can do anything you put your mind to. The Richmond Steelers play again Tuesday, another chance at a trophy. A loss on the football field today, final score 26 to 6, but this journey, a win. I learned that we got to come hard from the start to the finish. What is football? Block it and tackle it. We didn't do the best job today, but the team that do it the best way. Win. And the team who don't do it the best, what happened? Lose. That's okay, but listen, let me tell you something. Y'all all winners to me. You hear me? Yes, all y'all winners. New Orlando in Florida. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Amber Lee, KTVU, Channel 2 News.